Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how you can configure Snowflake CLI means command line interface to your PC. So let's start. So for this, you need the most important thing, which is of course a Snowflake access. I have a trial account, which is for 30 days. So we are going to use it. So this is my trial account. And from here, from help link and go to the download and here, you can download the CLI. So I have Windows, so you can go with the uh, Linux and other Mac OS. So I have uh, Windows, so I'm going to download it. So just hit on click and it will take some time to download. So it gets download. So it's downloading and you can get the uh, all these steps to download. So this is the link. So here you can go through all the details which we have and here installing uh, Snow SQL then configuring Snow SQL then connecting through Snow SQL then using Snow SQL. So if you go to this link installing Snow SQL. So here will be all the steps to install it. So I'm going to hit on this exe which we have downloaded MSI file. So it will take some time to download or, or not to download, to install. It will take some time to install. So I'm going to fast forward it. So it's installed. So it is showing us some instruction, open a new terminal window, execute the command to, rest, uh, to test your connection. And this is the syntax to test the connection. And after that, and this is the add connection information to the .snowsql config file. So you can uh, configure the connection details by two ways, by, uh, by typing the uh, static values or by having the uh, details in the config file. So first we will try with the command line, right? So I'm going to open that. And here I'll type snowsql. hit enter and it will install some of the things also like here you can see execute the command to connect to snowflake so it's done now we will type snow sql then hyphen a for account so account will be this and I'm going to paste it here, then the U and the username is try to catch, right? And hit enter, then it will ask for the password. So you need to put the password, so I'm putting that. So it's connected, but here it is showing that uh, we have not selected any database and the schema and we are using compute warehouse because it is the default and uh, this is the only warehouse which we have so it is selected by default but if you have any enterprise version then you need to select warehouse also here it will show uh, no warehouse also right and our snow sql version is 1.1.86 sorry uh, 85 Right, so here I'm going to use a database demo DB and we need our terminator, then hit enter. So a statement executed successfully and here you can see the warehouse name and then we have the, uh, uh, the database name demo DB and the schema is public. Now you can perform any operation in the demo DB and public schema you, uh, with the help of compute warehouse. So like uh, if you want to create a table, so create table, test, and column will be as name, text, sorry, uh, not the enter, and then terminator. So I'll show you here, uh, do we have any table in this schema or not so we don't have any table no tables 
or views in this schema. So now I'm going to execute it. So table test successfully created. Let's see whether we have any table here or not. So I have refreshed the page. You can just refresh the Snowflake server. I'll show you from where you can do this. So from here you can do that, right? And we got the table test, right? And let's perform some select operation here. And uh, select start from test and terminator. So we are not getting any row. Let's put some value here. Insert into test, then values and value is like uh, age sing parameter and hit enter. So yes, one row is inserted. Let's now perform the select star from test. And we got the name Achilles thing. So like this, you can configure the Snowflake CLI and perform any operation which you can do on the web UI of Snowflake. So till now we have done with the connection with the uh, giving the password to the command line. So now we will see how you can connect with the help of config file. So I'm going to exit. So control D you need to press. So goodbye. So we are coming into our PC. So here, as you can see, add connection information to the SnowSQL config file. So where you can find it. So I'll just show you. So in your user directory, you will find it. So going to C, uh, this PC, then go to C then user then your user profile then you will have dot snow sql and here you will have its config file right and just hit on edit so these are the connection detail you need to uh, update these or you can have with the connection name right so if you are going to update here so like my name is try to catch Okay. Oh, sorry, our account name is different. So username is try to catch and account name I'll just put that. So this is the account name. Paste it here. Okay, so here I need to update the username try to catch. And here I'm going to put the password so I'm not going to show you that so I'm going to skip it so before updating the password uh, how you can access these details so you can just access from this name so this is the uh, compulsion for you so it should be connections here you can type your connection name so I'll just put the uh, try to catch here or you can see or you can say uh, try to catch test right and and after updating the password just save it so here username is wrong so this is the username so i'm done with the config file now on the command line you just need to type snow sql and uh, hyphen c then your connection name which was try to catch underscore test and hit enter then it will take automatically the username and password and the account name. So yes, we are in, in the Snowflake server. But here we don't have the default database and schema. So let's have it also. So how you can do that? So I'll show you. So here you need to update all the details. So from here you need to remove these hashes. So just paste it here region we don't require user yes we require it here 
and then what you need to do uh, password I'm not going to show you that but yes I need to remove hash db name demo db schema default is public warehouse the default schema so these are the default values right so I'm going to put the password and going to skip that so I'm done with that also so just pressing the control T and now I just need to put snow SQL and hit enter so it will take by default all the databases and schema which we have defined in the config file so here you can see compute warehouse the default uh, database and the default schema name right so like this you can configure your snow sql cli on your pc so let me just brief you again so this is the snowflake account you just need to go to the help then download then you need to just download the cli version as per your system configuration then after installing and uh, accepting all the agreement you will get installed and then by three ways you can just connect with your snowflake account so friends that's it for this video i hope you really enjoyed the information and if you have any query or question you can comment below in the comment section and of course if you really like the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in next video till then thank you for watching jai hind